after your husbandship, before you are given full license, at least you can give back to the society within a period of five years. Yes, the Nigerian doctors should be stopped from traveling abroad because government paid their full education. There is heavy decline on medical injury. From 24,000 to now, as I speak, we have less than 10,000 doctors in Nigeria. That is alarming. Let us look at our laws, what is happening. I noticed that the vacuum is that immediately after uh, husbandship, you know, we noticed that most doctors, because of greener pastures, there is a capital flight from Nigeria abroad to UK, America, and all that. Now, um, government has invested so much money in training its medical doctors. If they can now take advantage of our situation, okay, and now open their doors, because just recently, in 2020, UK opened healthcare visa to people. They were all going to UK and US too, and Canada. So what should we do? Should we fold our arms? Maybe to give back to the society, that is to our people, after training you, yes, we are not saying you cannot go abroad to make your money, but if government has subsidized your tuition, okay, I mean, to, to the tune of uh, 40 to uh, 150,000, the least we can get from you is that after your expansion, before you are given full license, at least you can give back to the society within a period of five years. So after five years, you are free to go. So is it the government that sponsored their full education? That the government paid for their tuition or through school? Because how can you spend six years in the university as a medical student and that one year for housemanship and then after everything, you will not have anything to show for it? They will labor in vain, Abi. Is that what you people are saying? Because I don't get this. You see, Nigerian politicians you are so wicked and self-centered. Very, very wicked. In fact, this is witchcraft. This Ghani you don't see. So Nigerian doctors are now the problem of Nigeria. Do you guys, do you politicians even visit these hospitals? No, you guys cannot visit them because at the slightest headache like this or even stomachache, you guys will fly abroad to go and receive medical treatment. No be in with all the ESA, our president elect now was flown to Paris to receive medical treatment. So you mean of all the hospitals in Lagos, even including our almighty lawsuits. So president elect could not visit this hospital. Because you guys know what you have done. You guys have refused to invest in these hospitals. And that's why we have Many death traps of a hospital. I visited General Hospital in Sulija. Hey, God! Eh? First of all, the stench coming and oozing out of that hospital, I cannot describe it. And some part of the buildings were dilapidated. Like hospital for crying out loud, General Hospital in Sulija. Pharmacy, drug. Some of the drug you will not find it there. And okay, so. A doctor working there now should, should continue there. Is that not what you guys are saying? Somebody said the doctors that are still able to cope with the situation in Nigeria are conductors. Where's the lie? Visit an average medical department in Nigerian University. And nothing to write home about. No proper facilities there to even train the students or train the doctors. Why would they not jack back? Why won't they jackpot? Did you provide them with all the necessary equipment they need to run the hospital? Did you guys pay them their salary? No! You guys don't pay them, you don't provide them with equipment to work with. And the world is changing. They need to also improve. Also, there are improved ways of treatment now. You guys don't even provide them with facilities, even proper ones. Not now talk of modern facilities to work with. And the funny thing that you people will not still visit these hospitals. Because you know, you know the kind of hospitals we have. You know that you guys do not invest in Nigerian hospitals. Because if you guys have invested in Nigerian hospitals, a Buhari will not be traveling to London every two, two market days to receive treatment. 
he will visit the hospitals in Nigeria. But no, the money allocated to fund these hospitals, all these general hospitals we have, he get hanged only God knows where. You people will shop it, shop it because you know you are not going to visit the hospital. It is poor people like us that will visit it, so you leave it and you guys are now crying over now shouting. Nigerian government have invested in this doctor. They should be made to give back to the society. No, 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 no. You guys should close your mouth. How about we also pass a bill that every politician in Nigeria, every public office holder, should not also be allowed to travel abroad to access medical treatment? Yes. So we have 24,000 doctors in Nigeria and he just left with less than 10,000 doctors because the remaining people have jackpa. Why would they jackpa? Did you treat them well? Did you give them good life and they refuse to stay? Treat them right and see if they will not stay. This is part of the hypocrisy and double standard and two-faced I'm talking about our Nigerian government. When a bill by Femi Falan was proposed then to stop public office holders, politicians from seeking for medical treatment abroad, they all rejected it. But now, they suddenly remember that Nigerian doctors should give back to the society. Well, it is not bad for Nigerian doctors to actually give back to society. I support that because an average Nigerian a poor Nigerian who can't afford a proper medical care that does not have money to access improve medical health care it will favor them but the manner of approach is very very wrong by these politicians you who rejected it when it was your time for you not to travel abroad again to seek for medical treatment you rejected it you rejected that your children should be banned from schooling abroad you rejected it but suddenly you want to play the hero guano well done you people should now say you want to pass a law to prohibit nigerian doctors from traveling five years after graduating from medical school until their full license have been given it is very very wrong let us also pass a bill too that will prohibit every public office order, any politician in Nigeria, starting from our president down to the least councillor. You cannot travel abroad too with your family or everybody related to you. None of you will travel abroad for the next 10 years. So if you are being five years for doctor, we will do 10 years for public office order and politician. You cannot travel abroad to assess medical treatment or medical care. Even if you are sick, stay in Nigeria and visit the hospitals we have. She can now, as simple as that, I'm out of here. Over now, peace out.